what's up guys? Um, I haven't made a video in a really long time and I decided to make a video right now. And first off, I want to give out a shout out to EM Geckos. Um, he's a really cool guy. Um, he just bought two leopard geckos from me, a Max Snow Radar and a Bell Male 66% uh, Poshet Radar. That's really insane looking from Spain. And actually, this is the mother of that gecko. This is a Max Snow Bell Albino Het for Radar. And I imported both the parents from Spain, and I bred them, and I got that little baby. And he's actually going to have one of the only Spain lines that I have. Uh, released, which is really, really cool, and it's probably like one of the only lines of it in the U.S., so that's really like 10 times even more awesome because of how strong these geckos are. Um, they're amazing. I mean, just look at the mother. She's huge, and she's super friendly, too. I can pick her up, no problem. She's just a big, fat gecko. She's 80-something grams, so that male will probably grow really big, too. Both the parents are huge. Anyway, um, yeah. So definitely go check him out. He has a video of them, and they are really cool. The male's stunning. I mean, I've never seen a bell like it. And I released them, and I wanted the bloodline to get out there, and I really had didn't have a use for them myself. But it's he's really cool, and I can't wait to see the projects that Evan has, EM Geckos, in store for his geckos. Um, I think they'll be really, really cool. So definitely go check him out. He's a really, really cool kid. And he's going to have some really cool stuff in the future. Um, guarantee it. And the other thing is, right now, I am making a Breeding Leopard Gecko series. So, um, basically, I have three parts done, and each part is about ten minutes long. So, um, and it really hasn't even touched the surface. If you guys really want an in-depth... How to breed leopard geckos, you guys will have to listen to it um, really well. And it will go over it like super well. I'm going really into depth and into detail about this video, and it is going to be really good. But you guys, if you want the information and want input, you're going to have to watch all of it. So, I mean, watch all 10 minutes if you really want to see how leopard geckos are bred and what goes into it. And what thinking goes into it, that's the videos that will be coming out. And it's a series, so stay tuned for that. I will be making more videos. Anyway, this is the mail that I imported from Spain, or got imported from Spain. Um, he is a Bell Sunglow, Hep for Radar male. He's gorgeous. He's really a cool guy. He's not really that jumpy. It's just when you pet him on his back, he doesn't like it. See, he's pretty docile. Really tame big guy. Awesome gecko. And he's from Spain too. So, really awesome. Bell Songlo. Can't wait to see the babies from him this year. Um, we'll be having some from him. So, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not doing any right now, but I will be doing some. So, anyway, I'll leave these two out. I'm going to show you the clutch mate of the other gecko from Spain. The baby. Um, that... EM Geckos has. Here is her. She is amazing. I think she's going to speckle out a little bit more as she gets older, but I really hope not, to be honest, because she's really bright and orange right now. Oh, she's doled out a little bit right now, actually. But her carrot tail is great. I mean, look at that carrot tail. So, just amazing. Um, actually, her back's even. This used to be a whole lavender band that's fading away, so... I can't wait to see this gecko bigger. This gecko is staying with me for a long time, and she's doing great. I'm really excited about this project. This is a uh, uh, this is also a bell sun glow female, or you could call it a bell hypo, but same thing. Just gorgeous animal. Sun glows, I believe, are only supposed to have like ten dots as a minimum on their head. And I think she has over that, so she probably isn't. She's just a bell hypo, but still just amazing. Still same components to making a bell sun glow. And I actually have a bell sun glow, female, a pure one. Yeah, she's cute. I love this gecko. Um, but yeah, she'll be a future breeder. Can't wait to see what comes out. 
Um, yeah. Also, in the breeding series, I have this female. Little sneak peek of what the breeding series, what female will be incorporated. This female is actually ovulating right now, and she is a Bell Sunglo. Really, really cool looking Bell Sunglo. This girl came from David's Fine Geckos. It's a bright albino line uh, Bell Sunglo to a your gec uh, the Crested Gecko Bell Sunglo. That's it. And she's ovulating, as you can see. It's a pretty big ovulation. So she's doing great. I'm really happy with her. Got to clean her tank because all these geckos need to be cleaned soon. So, yep. That's her. And I believe I even have some other. I'll show you some cool geckos really quick. Um, that I really would like to get bigger, but I don't know how big this they're going to get. Here's my... Max No Eclipse Jungle Pied. Still has the pied marking on his her head, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of white now, but this gecko is really, really pretty. Um, she has a sibling actually that's even more pretty with a stripe, which is really cool. Um, just some highlight geckos again. Um, like highlighting some in particular. Oh no, there's my Max No Radar that I love. She's in shed. That sucks. Oh, here's a really cool gecko, but she's super nasty. I think this is a Max Snow Eclipse that came from Gamma. So he's actually Het for Diablo Blanco, which I'm super excited about. I have a Super Snow Het for Diablo Blanco, so I'm really happy. And I have a Max Snow Het for Diablo Blanco now, too. So I might even have a Super Raptor, which I'm fingers crossed it might be. I read something or heard something. If a Super Snow Tremper doesn't have leg spots, then it is an Eclipse, which I thought was really, really cool. So, cool fact for you guys right there. That isn't even a, um, what do you call it? Isn't even a breeding video thing. This female, I believe, is ovulating as well. Yeah, she is, big time. Come here. Jazzing out a little bit for me. Oh, she's got two big ovulums right there. You can see them pretty well. Right there. Down below. Wow. Gosh. I actually have a really good idea to do this gecko, and I would really like to do it. I'm going to wait, though. This one won't be bred yet. Um, even though I probably should start breeding them. Bell Sunglo will be bred soon. Um, this one... I'm holding off, but this was actually used from last season, and I've just left it in there because she kind of likes it and likes to dig around in it a little bit, the eco-earth, but that's going to be pulled out in the next breeding season because there could be bacteria and stuff in there that I don't want growing in there. So, yeah, really cool um, stuff going on. I'm excited. And, yeah, again, with those breeding video series that I'm making... Um, if you guys want the full lowdown on breeding leopard geckos too, um, I'm going over some money aspects of it. I'm going over food. I'm going over weights. I'm going over a um, bunch of different things. Um, and if you guys have any input that you would really like to see in that video that I haven't inquired already, just put it in the comments or personal message me, either or, and I will make sure to include it in the video. I mean, so far it's really in-depth and it's 30 minutes long, about. It could even be over a little bit. And it should be very well. So, this female is not ovulating, but I would really like her to. She is an Eclipse Hep for Radar. Actually, she might be ovulating. She actually might be in the corner right there. Which would be really awesome. I would actually like to breed them earlier this season, which would be really, really nice. So, yeah, because I don't have a lot of time. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, yeah. And also, I will be having some breeder stock available. Um, but it will be over... Just be prepared for it to be over $170.
So if you're serious, I'm going to make a Facebook thing. I'm going to do an update to Facebook, and there will be a new breeder stock thing on there, and they will be up there. It could range, but just if you're even serious, be prepared to pay $175. I think that's a fair statement um, because they are great lines. I mean, one of the reader stocks is from this female who comes from Empire Reptiles. Most insane eater that comes from a, a like, red bell male. That's how crazy the tangerine influence is in this gecko. The male that this gecko's, uh, the sire of this gecko is, like, red from what I've heard. It's, like, so insane. He's so bright red and orange. It's not funny. And crossed to a Sasebeck line. That's really cool. So, if you guys want into that, let me know. I got some really cool breeder stock that I'm going to be letting go. I even have, um, I'm not shipping in the winter, so I've kind of decided that. Um, I'm really holding off on shipping. If you wanted to buy a gecko, I would hold it, blah, 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 until um, a warm day, and then we would decide, but I'm not rushing anything. This gecko's ovulating as well, and this gecko is actually for sale. This is a Max No Tremper, het for Pasette Diablo Blanco. Yeah, she's ovulating, or starting to at least. A little dot right there. Shows starting of ovulation. It's not real ovulation yet, but that's definitely a start. I've seen geckos start off with that, and then a month later, or two weeks later, or a week later, they'll be ovulating. So, that's definitely a start of ovulation, from what I've seen. So, I'll do even more videos. Uh, there will be a, even a breeding thing on ovulations. Um, very, It will be very in-depth. You guys will really, really like it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys watched through it so far. I mean, you got to see some cool geckos, so, later, guys.